Uh, welcome back to another video. Uh, my name is Ashley and this is my daily UI challenge number four. Now I've been uploading speed arts um, of the uh, challenges and the designs as I do them, but I've had problems with my recording software. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna do a bit of a walkthrough of this design. Um, so I really enjoyed, uh, enjoyed day four of this design, creating a calculator. Uh, so my sort of routine or process for these challenges is I'll grab the, uh, I'll copy paste the info for the challenge of the day. And I'll go ahead and I'll paste that into um, Figma, into my prototyping app. Uh, <clears throat> I'll bold a couple of the areas that sort of stand out to me, uh, obviously being a calculator. And I chose to go the web app uh, sort of route for this one. So I came up with the name WebCal and I wanted it to be mobile focused. What I did next was I grabbed um, a random generated color palette from the website Color. Uh, really like this uh, resource, great, great app. I just go here, you just hit generate and it will come up with a random color palette. So that was sort of my challenge for this design. So I copied over the image, I downloaded that and the link, so I've got that. So the challenge was to really use those colors in the design and use them in an intuitive way, uh, not, not randomly. So I started off using that pink as the background of, uh, of the calculator. I thought that might just give it sort of a different feel rather than a white or gray background. Um, so just give it that unique feel. And instead I tried to use those grays uh, out of the, the generated color palette for the text. Um, so that was that was the sort of goal with the colors and I'm pretty happy with the design. I sort of like how it came out. I sort of already think of, I could have done some borders. I sort of could have made the buttons a bit more 3D-ish and sort of stand out. Uh, but overall, I think it went pretty well. So I wanted to use those blues as the accent colors and here where the numbers would come up as you're typing in the calculator, um, and on the uh, sort of the main buttons. Now I really used inspiration on Google. I just looked up calculators and I just sort of used calculator there because really I, funny enough, calculators are very simple, but until you actually have to design the UI of one, it makes you really go, huh, but there's a lot more going on here, all the little elements. Uh, so yeah, it was a real hint. Um, it was very helpful just using an image on Google. Uh, so yeah, I sort of had a focus on the, obviously the number pad. So I used the dark gray there and I thought it would just be nice to have sort of the blue accent. Now that I'm looking at that probably would look better if it was white, but it's, it's still fine. Um, some of the things I use a, uh, one of the polygon shapes there to get the, uh, play button. I had to create the uh, divide, the shapes itself. Otherwise, everything else is just a font and text. Uh, and <clears throat> I sort of, I don't really plan out these designs. I sort of just make it up as I go along. So after I sort of finished the number pad in that area, I realized that I had all this space down here. So it sort of forced me to think, well, if this was a web application, um, that's okay that there's space below, but how would I use that? So I thought that if this was real, there would be some sort of call to action. Um, there would be some sort of other area uh, to make the user to go. And I thought what might be cool is if WebCal actually did have a native iOS and Android app and the call to action was to go download them. So I found those two images on Google and I just sort of cropped them out to make them look nice. Um, I grabbed this text from an actually a real web cal um, calculator. I just grabbed that and just changed the name. Uh, and then I just put down like a little footer, just ima imagining like it was a, there was a couple more pages in the web app that they could learn more about the app. They could go to the about and they could get support by the contact. Um, so this sort of pinkish area here, this was the only uh, other color that I added that wasn't in the generator. Just because the grays were a bit too strong, um, I just took that background pink color and I just darkened it slightly. And I thought that gave it quite a nice, um, quite a nice effect. And I really went with this rounded corner um, look. 
So I was just trying to make it very app-like, um, very user-friendly. Uh, that was the sort of goal of this. And I already see some areas I could fix up, but again, I'm pretty happy with how it came out. So that's my uh, day four uh, for the daily UI challenge, my web cal. Uh, I love feedback. So if uh, there's anything that you think I could have done better or uh, anything uh, that you can think of, yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts. So thank you very much and uh, see you next video.